It could be New Zealand's darkest day, according to Prime Minister John Key. Another earthquake has rocked the country's South Island city of Christchurch, but this time scores were killed as bits of buildings crashed to the ground. The 7.1 magnitude Temblor back in September had been deeper and centered further away. This deadly one was shallow, and Key noted it hit when people were out and about. It's a scene of utter devastation. If we had everything uh, on our side at the last earthquake in terms of the timing uh, in the middle of the night where people weren't around. It's been the polar opposite this time. The earthquake struck at uh, 10 to uh, 1. It's been a very busy time. There have been a lot of people about, people at work, people shopping, kids at school. Thousands of dazed residents stumbled through the streets as sirens blared. The lucky ones were rescued and got medical attention early on. I hit with the table, you know, the table in the restaurant. Uh, yeah, and two, three people just fallen on me. Yeah, so. The spire of the city's iconic stone cathedral toppled over into a central square. To actually see the top of the cathedral come down was, I've never seen anything like it in my life. To actually see it topple in front of the cathedral, to see the dust and have people running out underneath that dust is just, there's just no words to be quite honest. It was absolutely awful. Rescue crews were working to free people trapped in rubble in places like the Pine Gould Guinness Building that had housed more than 200 workers. Jeff McClay considered himself lucky to get out. We were sort of not at the edge of the building. If we'd, I think if we'd been at the edge of the building rather than about two metres in, we would have been squashed. Some of those trapped in collapsed buildings in the city were thought to be visiting Japanese students who'd called their parents back home to say they were stuck. The mayor declared a state of emergency and ordered people to evacuate the city center, while troops were ordered out to help rescue crews. In some places, people abseiled out windows when the stairwells in their buildings collapsed. Others had to wait for rescue. With so much damage done and so many people still in need of help, teams were facing a long night of work to secure the city. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press. Uh, a matter of um, following the processes and the protocols. Desperate rescuers claw through debris centre, after a devastating earthquake rocked New Zealand's second biggest city. Many buildings have been reduced to rubble in Christchurch, trapping people and sparking fires, causing smoke to rise from the debris. It's up here, it's up here. Office workers joined emergency teams in searching for survivors. Possible was being used to reach those trapped. I kind of didn't really know what happened and then I heard some people screaming out which were on the second or third floor and managed to pull them out. Local TV aired dramatic amateur footage showing people running as a veranda collapsed. The nation's Prime Minister warned of a rising death toll. I don't think we can uh, go past the fact that we may well be witnessing New Zealand's darkest day. Uh, the advice I've had at the moment, I think viewers will understand and appreciate that um, it's very fluid advice at the moment but uh, the death toll I have at the moment is 65 and that may rise. A quake five months ago in Christchurch caused minimal damage and struck in the early hours. Today's hit at lunchtime. Civil Defence Minister John Carter said more rescue teams were on their way to help. The uh, search and rescue teams from uh, New Plymouth and Auckland will be down and operating within the next four or five hours. Um, and of course the police in the meantime already have teams of people out there working to um, going through the damaged buildings to try and help and assist where they can. A crane helped rescue workers trapped in another office block while others called out to find survivors. Can you call out to us, please? New Zealand records over 14,000 earthquakes a year. Out of those, around 20 top magnitude 5.0. Mary Claire Fennessy, Reuters.